Welcome to this BHHS Drysdale Properties exclusive introduction video. Today we'll be going over an introduction to the SuperAgent website offered within the Agent Achieve platform. These adaptable, mobile-friendly sites are available to everyone with a website marketing plan package and are very easy to customize even with minimal technical experience. Throughout the month of November 2014, the marketing technology team is preparing skeletal designs of the SuperAgent site for each sales associate that submitted an agent profile questionnaire to prepare for the conversion to the new brand. We'll start by taking a look at what the basic layout of the SuperAgent site looks like on a desktop computer. Right now, the header features the name of the agent to the left and contact information on the right along with the profile photo of the agent. This look will change on conversion date to feature the company logo on the left and contact information, including name, all on the right-hand side. Social media buttons will also be introduced at that point. Below the contact information is a menu bar. You can see that the menu item Home has a drop-down. That's where you'll add any custom pages. Steve has About Me and Relocation Guide for Northern California. Next to that is Search Real Estate. A consumer could simply press that button and be taken to a search page. But one of the beauties of this menu item is that you can add instant searches to it to feature searches of your most prominent markets. Steve currently has five instant searches under his Search Real Estate tab. If someone clicks on one of those instant searches, they're taken to a gallery of all the listings fitting that instant search's description. From this page, they can sort as they please, click on properties to view the full page report on the property, and they also have the option on this page of submitting a question to the agent. One of the options within your SuperAgent dashboard within Agent Achieve is limiting the number of properties a consumer can see before being prompted to register. By setting this limit, the search real estate function on your website can become a great lead generator. The third tab on the menu bar is Contact Me. This tab takes the consumer to a page where they will fill out contact information and ask a question, potentially while also requesting a buyer's packet, seller's packet, or market analysis. Your direct contact information will also exist on this screen. The final item on the menu bar is Create an Account or Login. If someone chooses to create an account with your site, you'll be alerted immediately in Asian Achieve and via email. By creating an account, they can create their own listings notifications from your site. I highly recommend setting up each of your clients with accounts. For a tutorial on doing so, click the Notifications button now, and you'll be taken to a different tutorial. Or, you can click on the link in the description below. The final thing we'll take a look at now is the home page. You'll notice that there are two boxes on the home page below the menu items. One is called Property Search, and the other is Listings in Pleasanton. The property search function is a very useful tool for the consumer, and that's why we're including it front and center on the home page. From here, the consumer can do what they would from search real estate, but don't have to go looking around for it, and they can set their parameters from the beginning rather than clicking on one of your instant searches. To the right of the property search on this home page is the listing search result widget. This list is created by taking one of your instant searches and displaying five of them on the home page. It gives the consumer a quick snapshot of a particular market. Just like you can personalize your instant searches, you can customize this listing search result. Now that we've seen what it all looks like for the consumer, let's go into the back end and go over a quick overview of the editing process. We sign into Agent Achieve and we click on the website button. For most of us, we'll be taken to the original website dashboard since this is where we control the original website layout. However, to edit the Super Agent site, we want to switch to the Super dashboard. We can click one of two places to do so, in the left menu column or on the Super dashboard under Super Agent Website. Once we're in the Super Agent dashboard, we can customize the look of our homepage, our custom pages, and our instant searches. To customize the look of our home page, we click on Design. The first option is changing the background. There are several background options within company backgrounds, but you can always choose to add your own personal background by going to this box and uploading an image from your computer. But please be aware that you must have rights to this image in order to display it as your background. Once you've published your background, you advance to Layout. This determines where the home page widgets will end up. 
You can have a centralized widget column by choosing the fourth option, or you can have one or two off-center columns by choosing one of the other three. Next comes theme. By early December 2014, everyone will have the option of choosing the BHHS theme from System Themes. If you want to tweak that theme or create your own theme, you simply click on the pencil and can edit from there. The widget section is where you will customize what shows up on your homepage. I currently have a listing search result titled Listings in Castro Valley in my left column, which is Homepage Area 1, and a property search titled Find Your Dream Home in my right column. Below that in my right column, called Homepage Area 2, I have a request information widget called Ask Me Anything. Each of these widgets are customizable. As you can tell, I've customized the title of each. The default name for each widget is whatever the name of the widget is. But by editing the title area within the widget, I rename it. With a listing search result, you select a source, one of your instant searches, and whether you want five random listings to be displayed or the top five listings. With the request information widget, you can customize it so that it shows up as a button rather than a box with fields for the consumer to fill in. If you choose button, the fields will appear as a pop-up if the consumer clicks the button. Also worth noting that you can make this request information specific for buyers or sellers by changing the extra data fields. There are several other widgets to choose from including Agent Profile, Featured Property Slideshow, and Mortgage Calculator. For a description of all of the available widgets, you can go to the Document Center in Agent Achieve or you can click on the link in the description below. Once you've got your site just how you want it, you'll click Launch. But we should rewind now to quickly explore the creating of custom pages and instant searches. On the dashboard, you'll see a section called Manage Pages. On the same bar to the right is Add Page. That's where we'll add our custom pages. From this window, you can create your own custom content, you can frame in another website, or you can launch a website in a separate pop-up window. I personally do not like the look of the frame in, so I would recommend you stick to options one and three. Once you've created a piece of custom content, you can add it by clicking the menu area button on the top of the page, or by going back to dashboard and selecting menu on the right side of the page. You select menu settings and then drag and drop from do not show in menu into home menu. You'll add instant searches just below where you added manage pages. If you've ever set up a listing notification or home alert for a client, you'll know exactly what to do here. If you haven't used home alert at all, click on the notification buttons now and you'll be taken to a home alert tutorial. To create your instant search, you'll name it and then search for a particular market. You can customize a price range or any number of other things. You click save and you're taken back to the dashboard. From here, you can add to the menu much the same way you did with the custom page by dragging and dropping into the search real estate section. One final note. I mentioned earlier that you can control how many listings a consumer can see before they're prompted to register with your site. You set this prompt on the same dashboard. On the right side, you'll see lead registration. Click there and you can change the number in the dropdown to the right of allow. The default is unlimited. I suggest you set it to something a bit lower than that. I hope this video was a helpful introduction to the look and feel of the SuperAgent site, as well as a quick overview of the editing process. There's plenty more to know about the SuperAgent site, so feel free to start exploring, and be sure to check back for more BHHS Drysdale Properties exclusive video tutorials.